Arsenal fan TV here with a QPR fan. I remember I interviewed you at the Emirates. Um, good of you to come along and uh, say something again today. Uh, what did you make of the game? Yeah, first off, uh, what I want to say is, I want to say thanks for the interview at the Emirates. Mm. And uh, tonight, I congratulate your club, your fans for the victory. I think that's the most gracious thing to do at the start. But on to the game. Um, there were, we showed you a little bit of respect again, like at the Emirates, but we at least went, we went punch for punch, which was good. But I just feel that the game got away because we just sort of got over, overpowered a little bit, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I was saying to um, my cameraman there, me and we were sitting together, and I was saying to him, it's the type of game that if Arsenal score first, I can see us getting a couple, I can see your confidence getting knocked because you are kind of down there. And it, it, it did sort of go that way. You're, it looked like your head's kind of dropped when you went 1-0 down. Yeah, we sort of lost our way a little bit, which was disappointing. We lost the plot a little bit. We had to keep mm -hmm. it at 1-0, you know. And obviously, when it went to 2, it was it was, it was, it was hard then. We, mm -hmm. we found it hard. We really did. You know, Sanchez was just mm -hmm. unplayable. But I felt if we'd, we needed to get the first goal tonight. And mm -hmm. with all due respect, we're not playing the Invincibles here. The 49 game unbeaten side, who I rate is mm. arguably the greatest side of all time. Mm. We're not playing like, you know, a Tony Adams or Elite, mm. um, see Nigel Winterburn or Kean at the back. This is Mertesack and he's been slaughtered this season. Mm. So I felt that we just had to make him work a little bit because he doesn't like the rough and tough stuff. Mm. So uh, Charlie didn't really get the service mm. as much in the second half. In the first half, we had our chances, but when you play against anyone like mm. Arsenal, United, any of these teams coming here, got to score, got to mm. score the first goal. And if you don't score the first goal, mm. you're always going to be in trouble. I want to ask you finally, can you stay up? I mean, I like, you know, I've got a little soft touch for QPR because, yeah, yeah. you know, what? Yeah, I, I, like I was that. born in North West London. Um, I never used to live far from here. Can Queen's Park Rangers stay up? Of course we can. Saturday against Tottenham, we've got to win now because that's the game in hand. So, listen, I'm right ball. behind you on that one, mate. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. <laughs> well, it's fair ticket if you want it, yeah? No, no, don't really go a bit too far. Actually, we ain't got a game, so, you know, but you, if you could get a result there, you could see, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough, but it's no team sort of getting right away from anybody, are they, at the bottom there? So you could still, still in with a shout. Well, it's, it's a pressure game now because obviously we've lost tonight, so... It's the game in hand, so it's mm. very, very important now that we do get something from that game. The home form has just tailed off a little bit now, which mm. is the concern. It's, I still, I reckon it's like it's going to be. It's looking like it's between us and Villa. Mm. I think Leicester, Burnley will probably are probably doomed now, mm. you know. But like you said, it's so it's so tight still. So mm. anything can happen, mm. you know. Uh, well, well, listen, I want to wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Smash Tottenham on Saturday. Smash them up. And uh, listen, stay up. All yeah, right? and hopefully we'll see you back in next season. We'll see you, but we will be back in. Not hopefully, we'll be back in next season. Nothing that I would love more. I do not like Man United. Their demise 